it's Earth Day, we are launching a new series, Eye on Earth. Tonight, we're looking at wind energy. Right now, nationwide, there are only seven wind turbines in federal waters. Which is far fewer than European nations, but that could be changing in a big way this year. And as Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher explains, it starts right here in Massachusetts. In the world of wind, there are gentle breezes and full-fledged gales. A project developing south of Martha's Vineyard is the left. There's actually a lot of wind, and it's very consistent offshore. Lars Pedersen is CEO of Vineyard Wind, which is one federal permit away from building the first large-scale offshore wind farm in the U.S. Fifteen miles south of the vineyard, the project will install 62 turbines, each a mile apart, to accommodate the passing of fishing vessels. The electricity will flow through cables buried in the ocean floor to Cuffles Beach and Barnstable, generating enough electricity to power 400,000 homes. The GE-made turbines will be the largest in the world. Each blade is longer than a football field. The blades are so enormous that at a testing facility in Charlestown, they had to be chopped in half to fit. From there, it's a trip to New Bedford, where the Marine Commerce Terminal will become a hub for assembly. I was born and raised in Denmark, the land of Lego, so we will get the Lego pieces in, we will assemble them, there will be a lot of people doing construction work. Before anyone gets to work, some will pay a visit to Mass Maritime Academy first, where they've been training people for ocean work for over 130 years. There are going to be a lot of people that are, that are starting from the beginning. Captain Michael Burns says there's unmistakable momentum in the offshore wind field, and it will require a diverse group of people. Everyone heading out on the water can learn the basics of rescues, climbing, and fall prevention on the Mass Maritime campus. Ground crew, victim coming down! Coming down! And he's going to lower that person as far down as they need to go. Lead climbing instructor Jim Redman says he's trained anyone from techs and construction workers to students and biologists. There may even be a meteorologist or two who wants to head out. Anyone who completes the program will be certified for offshore work anywhere in the world. We're out. Besides creating clean and affordable uh, electricity, it's also about creating a new industry. The Biden administration has set a goal of 30 gigawatts of offshore wind energy by 2030, which would require roughly 30 similar wind farms to be built in just the next decade. Now, Vineyard Wind hopes to be granted their final permit in a matter of weeks, start construction on land this fall, and have electricity flowing to the grid in 2023. I'm Eric Fisher, WBZ News. You think wow. Eric's going to try to moonlight on that project? Yeah. <laughs> He's getting certified for a reason. I can't believe that one blade is the size of a football field. Amazing.